What's up, Creed? Welcome to your Monday workout. Happy Memorial Day. We got you a little Murph. We'll show you what that looks like in just a second. We got seven minutes on the clock. We'll have three rounds of a warm up. All right, each round is similar, but a little bit different. Round one, 30 seconds of a cardio choice, five and five dumbbell bent over row, five scat push ups, five at lunge plus lunge plus squat, into another round of 30 seconds cardio, five and five bent over row, seven push ups and 10 air squats. And then your last round, 30 seconds cardio, five and five bent over row, 10 push ups and 15 air squats. Be sure to try and hustle through that, get through all those rounds before seven minutes is up. Starting out with our cardio options, we have jumping jacks. We can always do a lovely jumping jack to get things going. We can do high knees or running in place will also work. And then lastly, mountain climbers. You can choose those as well. You could do an up, down, a burpee, or some jump rope as well. All right, our bent over rows, we're gonna go five and five each side. Find a moderately heavy dumbbell. All right, we're gonna drive those hips back and behind in a good hinged position. He has a nice flat, flat back, Ch shoulders are squared, and he's rowing that dumbbell back to his hip at an angle here. Good. All right, then we're going to have five scat push-ups. Our scat push-ups, very small range of motion. Elbows stay locked out straight. We're just going to drive that spine to the sky and then sink those shoulder blades in towards the spine. So really very, very small shoulder movement, not much elbow movement at all. Then we have five lunge plus lunge plus squat where we're gonna go into a left lunge, a right lunge, and a full squat. All three of those movements put together is one rep. You do five of those there. Next round, 30 seconds of cardio choice, five and five bent over rows, seven push-ups. All right, so we're on a full range of motion with these push-ups here. All right, as he comes down, he's driving those elbows back and behind, keeping a nice sharp 45 degree angle with the elbows there. And then he has 10 air squats on the back end of that. And as he hits his 10 air squats, same thing as those other squats here, keeping that chest up, making sure his knees go over his toes and keeping a tall chest where he can read the label of his shirt at any moment, all right? That is our warm up there. All those movements continue repeating. We're just gonna go three rounds there, all right? The Murph, you get a 60 minute cap, nice long workout. All right, if you're at the beach or the lake and you watch this, you can do a half Murph, only 30 minutes, all right? You'll save yourself some time there. But for time, if you're doing it all the way through, you got one mile to start with and then you get into the good stuff, all right? The meat of the sandwich. You got 100 pull-ups or a pull option. So 50 and 50 bent over rows, 50 on the left, 50 on the right. Or if you have a suspension trainer at home, you can do a TRX row um, or a towel row if you need to, 100 reps of those. You'll do 200 push-ups and 300 squats. And then after you get done with all 100, all 200, and all 300, you'll do one more mile at the end. All right, so you've got to roll through it just like that. You can partition your reps however you'd like to with the 100, 200, 300. Uh, most people do a 10 rounds, 10 pulls, 20 push-ups, 30 squats, and they'll continue 10 rounds like that. Most, that's the most common way to do it, but you can break it up however you need to. Uh, and down here, option for a half Murph, you can do half of everything. So a half mile run, 50 pulls, 100 push-ups, and 150 squats. That would be your option there, all right? And so the only thing we'll show is the, uh, well, actually we did show everything, all right? You got your bent over rows, you got your push-ups in the warm-up, and you got your squats in the warm-up. All you gotta do is get outside, enjoy the weather, and go for a lovely mile run. We'll see you guys next 